Shrimble, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Camomilia! Let's get it. What's going on, guys? So today, welcome to the first episode of Croc Miller with Camo. A little bit about what this episode is. Well, a little bit about what Croc Railing with Camo is. Basically, this is your boy Camo Million in the kitchen, in the corner crock pot, because I live in the camper. I don't have gas yet on my stove. So in the crock pot doing his thing, and your boy outside the camper on the grill doing his thing, aka Croc Grilling with Camo. I know y'all like I know y'all y'all into so look at y'all. Look at y'all man in the back over there. Ha! Ah, Alright, yo, check it out. Today! Today is the first episode, and today we're doing a, uh, I made this actually the first episode for a very reason. It's a very special episode for me, and it's a special episode because we are doing cow tongue today. Now, a couple things before we get into the video itself. Uh, this cow tongue was donated by uh, Biddy B. Brown, a.k.a. Bob. Um, the story behind it, and if I can, I'll try to put some video of, uh, Buddy up here or there. Uh, Mom had a bull uh, uh, for many years. His name was Buddy. Uh, like every other animal on the farm, Mom grew very, uh, uh, very close to her animals. And Buddy, just like any other bull, unless you have him out there for grazing to sell, he was going to get processed one day. And it was actually time for him to get processed. And and well. It was not a, a happy day for mom, but they got plenty of good meat out of Buddy. And one of the things that I was kind of casually talking to mom before this process happened was that, you know, I've never had cow tongue and I would love to taste it one day. Well, she got Buddy processed and surprised me with giving me a cow tongue. So the cow tongue that you see in the video today will be the cow tongue from Buddy. So I would appreciate everybody if, if you would give thanks to Buddy. Um, for his sacrifice and he, he is my special guest today on Croc Willow and Camo and I made that initially I wanted him to be my first guest my special guest here on Croc Willow and Camo thank you very much buddy for your contribution to Croc Willow and Camo um, contribution to my hunger contribution to my stomach thank you for, my nour for nourishing me um, this episode um, other than that guys let's get into it Croc Willow and Camo Cooking some cow tongue, baby. Let's get it. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is cut this puppy out of its container. I don't have a special knife that I need to put on um, blast for anybody. This is just a simple task force speedster model was given to me by <coughs> the boyfriend of my sister, uh, Justin. So shout out to you, Justin. So let's get it out of here. Let's take a look. And might I add, this is the first time I've ever handled a beef tongue. A few times I think Buddy tried to lick me with this tongue. but <laughs> So here's what a beef tongue looks like, guys. It looks just like a tongue. Okay? This is a cow tongue. A full cow tongue. Okay. Give me kisses. <laughs> I'm just absolutely amazed at how huge a cow's tongue is. I mean, this is wow, amazing. But anyway, if you can look on here, see if you guys can see it. Let me see if I can focus. Let me focus in on this a little bit. You can see the taste buds on Buddy's tongue. Okay, and you can feel it too. Really rough. <clears throat> so you're wondering, how in the hell are you going to eat that thing with those rough taste buds on there? Well, the taste buds are not going to be there. So the first thing you're going to do, guys, is you're going to wash this guy out. So give me a second. Let me uh, get to washing him out. Okay, so we have successfully washed our beef tongue. Now, wow. Guys, if you can just feel what the back... Look at the taste buds on this guy huge i mean it's just like lumps i guess it would be the same as your tongue right taste buds just all over the place my understanding from what i've seen in youtube videos that this is some of the most tender meat on the face of the planet that you can possibly have 
So we're going to find that out, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this guy and we're going to drop him in the crock pot. So follow me on, guys. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and drop our beef tongue in the crock pot here. Doesn't really matter how we drop it in there as long as we get it all in there. <clears throat> and now I'm going to fill this guy with some water. And what you want to do is you want to cover enough water in there to actually cover the beef tongue. So I don't know how much that would be. I mean, it depends on the size of your crock pot. Oh, we're gonna fill up another jug of water there. Okay, that is just about covered. So now what we're gonna do is add our spices to the deal. Now you can use any type of spices that you like. I, and if you, you gotta watch a lot of these episodes of Crock Dilla with Camel, you're gonna know that I absolutely love lemon pepper. Love it to death. So, we're gonna be putting lemon pepper. And I put about, yeah, maybe a tablespoon of lemon pepper in here. Less than that. Kind of more than a pitch type deal. And let's see what else can we put in here. We're gonna cook this guy for six hours. So what I wanna do is put in a couple of bouillon cubes. Now I don't have beef bouillon cubes, which would be ideal for this, but I do have chicken bouillon cubes. So I'm gonna drop a couple of bouillon cubes in there. And of course you would salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna add a little garlic salt. A little bit of basil. I gotta keep it hot, guys. I'm gonna put in some chili powder. I like it spicy. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm also gonna add some dehydrated vegetables to this because what's gonna happen is once, and this is, I'm just gonna, this is a, about a handful of uh, dehydrated mixed vegetables about two handfuls of those and then we're going to add a handful of dehydrated mushrooms And then, of course, got to keep it hot and spicy, guys. A handful of dehydrated uh, yellow and green jalapenos. And I'm just going to kind of sparingly just crush it up in your hand. Just kind of spread it off in there. And the reason why I added the vegetables to it is because when this is done... I'm going to take the tongue out and then I'm going to peel off the skin and then I'm going to basically use the broth that this was cooked in as kind of a soup to go with the tongue. I'll show you all of that later. But for right now, 
you got your tongue in, you got your spices in, you got your dehydrated stuff in. So now what we're going to do is basically cover this guy up, set it to high, and you're going to do this for on high for six hours, minimum. <clears throat> I always like to go just a little bit longer than that, but after six hours, it is very tender, and this skin will just come right off of this guy. So I will see you guys in a six of mementos. Alrighty guys, so it has been six and a half hours. Cooked it a little bit more than it was supposed to. And there is our fully cooked and looks very tender beef tongue. Now you notice that it wasn't this big before I put it in there. Apparently over the cooking process it actually swells. So let's take this guy out of here and we're gonna put him on a plate. And I'm going to show you to slice them. We're going to take the uh, that top layer of uh, taste buds off of them. All right, guys. So I'm going to carefully transfer the beef tongue from the pot. Jesus, this thing is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> Onto the plate here. There it is. Fully cooked beef tongue. Doesn't that just look yummy? Alright. So what we're going to do now is get us a knife. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to slice up some of the beef tongue okay so the first cut which is supposed to be very very freaking tender is this front cut right here so I'm just gonna bear down into it here oh man that is so flipping tender guys that is so tender look at that Look at that. So what we're going to do now, let me make sure that I can actually, you guys can actually see me doing this. Okay, you can. Good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the beef tongue into slices. Okay. Guys, <laughs> I don't even need a knife. I could probably cut this with a butter knife. It's so freaking tender oh my god just I mean look at that it's just beautifully tender I'm cutting pretty reasonable sized chunks here I mean we, I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of meat out of this there's no question about this guys just So I'm probably cutting, I don't know, quarter inch to half inch slices. Oh my God, this is beautiful meat. Beautiful meat, guys. Beautiful meat. As soon as I finish cutting this, I'm going to show you what the meat looks like. You can see it from just looking at me like here. Now, I'm cutting it right now with the skin on there because it's easier to... I mean, you could pull the skin. You see now the skin's just kind of falling off here. It's kind of slothing off. So technically now what I can do, and I'll show you guys. Technically now what I can do is just take this last piece. And you can see the skin, it's, it's a little hot, so you see the skin just peels off. Now you, you you can you can let this cool, but you don't want it to cool too much, uh, or the skin will then start to become a little bit more difficult to come off. But that's the tip of the tongue right there, and we're gonna finish slicing that up.
there's so much meat out of this guys so much meat okay that's all the meat out of out of that one tongue guy that's fresh tongue so here is the the part here that everybody cringes on right here now technically guys you don't have to peel this so let's take a piece of this let me show you how easy this comes off after it's been cooked for so long so you can actually take a knife grip it right here a knife and I should just be able to I mean you saw how it came off of the tip there look at that look at that it just peels right off peels right off guys Ooh, that's hot Cut that. peel that back okay now you don't have to peel the skin you can leave the skin on there the skin tastes perfectly fine but yeah that's the tongue right there that's the tongue skin and that just like I said after six hours of in a crock pot it just slugs off now like I showed you you can actually go through and you can take the skin off like I did on this one and you can eat it and it will be perfectly fine or you can do like I'm going to do and leave the skin on um, it doesn't hurt you guys it doesn't hurt you at all some people freak out because oh my god you're eating you know cow tongue with skin on it but guys this is beautiful meat absolutely beautiful meat here let me show you what the meat looks like this is a piece of the tip tongue right here I mean look at that guys that is just beautiful meat and it is so tender so tender all right guys I'm not sure if you can actually see me or not here but I'm gonna show you a piece of the skin and I just I got a culprit down here that apparently loves the skin now but here's a piece of the skin this is the the, the tongue the, the piece of uh, um, taste bud basically off of the tongue and just to show you we can eat it and it tastes delicious it really does It's like eating skin off or anything else, guys. But I'm going to leave the meat that I have with the skin on it. But you can peel it off if you want. But the heavier piece here, I have a little fella by the name of Ace that might want it. Acers, you want that beef tongue uh, skin, Bubba? Yes, Daddy, please. It's G. Delicious. <laughs> all right, guys. So all I'm going to do now, like I told you, I'm going to leave. Uh, this is a piece that doesn't have the skin on it. There. Okay. I'm just going to start putting these back into the crock pot because the crock pot is technically still on. This doesn't have the skin on it here. This one doesn't. This is part of the tip of the tongue. There is the tip of the tongue there. piece that doesn't have the skin on it this piece does have the skin on it as you can see and you can eat it like I said with the skin on it it doesn't matter it's not gonna hurt you it tastes absolutely delicious either way so we're just gonna put all these back in here just kind of let them marinate in the juices there for a little bit these are relatively nice chunks, so this should actually feed a, a rather nice uh, family, meal for a family. This piece here, we could probably cut off, make a half out of it here. I mean, guys, you don't even need a knife. I mean, it just tears. It just absolutely tears. I'm going to... I'm gonna do a little taste test of the meat here. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna tear off a nice little piece. This is beef tongue.
Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. Oh my God, this is delicious. It is so tender. Six hours in a crock pot. Six and a half for me. Absolutely tender. I cut him and the knife just went through him like butter. I got to the tip and the skin just fell off of him. Off the tip of that tongue. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm. Well, guys, I want to show you something. Let's see if I can get this without dripping. If you look on here, you see those lines going through the middle? These are the veins in the tongue. The veins are not going to hurt you. They're not going to kill you. They taste just as good as the rest of the tongue. You can pull them out if you want, but they taste just as good. Acers likes it. Why don't you like it? Acers likes the tongue. I know some of you freaks out there like the tongue too. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna stop fucking with y'all. I know some of y'all about to throw up over there, but y'all don't know what y'all missing, man. This is some really good stuff. So what we're gonna do now is finish up off the meal, okay? So we're gonna take some of this juice. All right. Just kinda of take some of the broth that was made with the chicken bouillon cubes. And like I said, if you get beef bouillon cubes, it probably would be just as fine. And uh, tip a couple of pieces of, <clears throat> of uh, meat there. Make sure I pick up some of those wonderful dehydrated, completely rehydrated vegetables. Oh my God. And then this is huge chunks of meat, guys. We're talking about, I, these are at least a half inch. To, uh, no, screw me. This is an inch. An inch cuts I've, I've done um, in this entire thing. And so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to keep bringing that broth over here. There's plenty left in here, guys. Plenty left in here. Now, the different ways that you can use beef tongue. I have seen where people use beef tongue. Uh, they can actually take it and put it in taco meat. Uh, there was one lady, and forgive me, I don't remember her name, because she's the one that I actually uh, kind of visited to see how to actually do this. She actually uses it for taco meat. And she feeds it to her kids. She actually fed it to her kids while she was doing the video. And the kids chomped it up. I don't know if the kids knew that it was cow tongue, but I don't think they gave a shit either way. They chomped it down and wanted more. But you can actually mush it up and, and make taco meat out of this. It's very tender, guys. It's it's. It's probably one of the best unknown cuts of meat from a cow is the tongue. I'm telling you, if you put your ass in this pot for six hours, you'd come out just as tender as this tongue does and it tastes delicious. Believe it or not, guys, it tastes like beef. It doesn't taste like anything else but beef. That's gonna be the meal right there. I mean, you can, you can get you a piece of bread and put it on the side, but honestly, let me just get this out of the way here so you can get the full spread. The Acers is down here. He wants more. But that is it. This is a cow tongue stew done by your boy Camel Million. Now, I'm going to go ahead, like I'm going to do in every uh, cooking video that I do, I'm going to put the recipe itself and all the ingredients that I use in the bottom of the description below. And I will link to other people that I've actually seen do this recipe so you can watch their videos also. But this is it, guys. This is cow tongue stew. And I am going to enjoy every single mm -mm -mm. drop of Buddy. Thank you very much, Biddy Boo Brown. Thank you very much, Buddy, for being my special guest tonight. That's it, guys. Thank you for uh, tuning in to Crop Gullet with Camo. And uh, 
if I can get him to stop begging for more, maybe he will tell you goodbye. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm hoping Daddy will drop the pot on the floor and I will clean it up for him with my mouth. But if that doesn't happen, you have a great night and I will see you next time on Crot Really with Daddy. Camo. Daddy. Camo. I call you Daddy. I don't give a damn what they call you. Fine. Crot Grilling with Daddy. That's right. Easter's out. <laughs> Later, guys.